Bayonetta is a woman of style, duplicity, and overall aggression. She boasts one of the most complex and damaging combo games, while also keeping opponents on their toes with insane mix-ups, literally armed to the heel with guns to force approaches and rushing down with unreactable burst options. This allows her to find combos with ease at virtually all percents. She'll dance through the sky with aerials, slow down time to punish over aggression, or just kill you for improper DI. And even if she messes up, her flexible recovery allows her to easily get back to stage. However, this flair comes at a cost, and in Bayonetta's case, that cost is killing. If her opponents DI correctly, she tends to struggle closing out the stock until very high percents. This usually forces her to rely on landing a raw hit, which can be burning someone trailing. She also struggles against shield, as she's forced to rely on mix-ups rather than safe shield pressure. The reason none of her stuff is safe is because she's cursed with arguably the highest amount of end lag in the game. These qualities make Bayonetta a frontrunner, a character that can blow up a lead the moment she gets ahead, yet she can easily fall behind if she misses a kill confirm or simply never finds one. This is why players that succeed with her are those who can control their need for sauce and stay unpredictable, constantly moving and finding openings to go in, where they let their imagination run wild. Bat Within is one of Bayonetta's three signature mechanics and is linked with her air dodge, roll, spot dodge, and witch time. Bayo's air dodges all come out frame 5, while her rolls and spot dodges are frame 6. In a vacuum, these are very slow, and that's because Bat Within comes out frame 1 and 2 for air dodges and rolls respectively. When activated, Bat Within halves any damage dealt to Bayonetta, removes the knockback, and maintains the initial travel direction. Though with air dodge, Bat Within will always travel down. This is very important to understand, as it offers a manageable disadvantage state. Some combos are true because there is only one frame to escape, which is impossible for most of the cast. Bayonetta, however, can bat within these combos and easily flip the table to start her own. This is also a curse if you spam air dodge, as you'll become predictable and probably die for it, or at the very least eat a meaty punish. Her second unique mechanic is Bullet Arts, and is present on a majority of her moves. Whenever you input an attack, holding the input will cause Bayonetta to shoot bullets that deal chip damage or extend the hitbox of the original attack. This can be useful for edgeguarding offstage or simply forcing an approach, as the residual damage will add up over time. The only major downside to Bullet Arts is the added end lag, making Bayonetta extremely vulnerable if her opponents get up close or dodge the hitboxes. Special Lag is Bayo's last unique mechanic and is also one of her biggest detriments. Bayonetta will get additional landing lag for each special she uses in the air. The effect is minimal after one use, but becomes very noticeable after multiple, which is problematic as a majority of her combo game requires multiple special moves. This special lag will reset if Bayonetta is hit in the air or by grabbing the ledge. So if you're forced to land on stage, Witch Time, Down Air, and Bullet Climax just before you touch the ground will cancel the lag. This is important, as after a combo, you'll want to land away from your opponent or find a ledge to minimize the punishment. Playing Bayonetta is really about achieving a gameplay that is as fluid as it is stylish. Yes, the combos are the focal point, but the toughest part about Bayo is finding that first hit, and to do so, you must move and mix your options on shield, call out jumps, and reach that game state of free-form jazz, never repeating the same option and improvising on the spot. In order to properly combo and play neutral, you must understand Bayo's two main specials, 
Her up special is Witch Twist, and is very unique compared to other recoveries. Bayo gets one up B for every jump, meaning to get the most height, you'll want to jump, up B, double jump, then up B. And when recovering the stage, this typically means you'll want to up B first, double jump, then up B again. The combos are extremely intuitive. Witch Twist will always send in the direction Bayonetta is facing, the only exceptions being if the opponent falls out. Knowing this, she can safely combo into her bread and butter. At virtually all percents, up B combos into side B, which will likely be how she starts most of her combos. From here, the follow-ups depend on percent and weight. However, the most common follow-up is a double jump up B or side B to then finish with an aerial. What makes Witch Twist so great is how well it works in her kit, with a plethora of moves that combo into it. Though, to get the most bang for your buck, you'll want to learn how to jump cancel Witch Twist, effectively giving you 3 jumps and increasing the height of your combos to kill earlier. This is done by jumping, double jump, and Witch Twist within 4 frames. If done correctly, Bayonetta will gain an extra jump, double jump while still having 2 Witch Twists. The timing is really precise, so it may be wise to set a shoulder button to jump to facilitate the execution. This alone opens up kill confirms that percents Bayo wouldn't normally have access to. Defensively, it is one of Bayo's best out of shield options at frame 6, which, as we've seen, yields a ton of damage and is even able to catch cross ups with the B reverse, especially since if you miss, you can further pressure with aerials and a side B. Its last use comes from edge guarding, as it sends at a very bad angle. Simply going off stage and reacting to jumps is extremely powerful that will eventually lead to high commitment recovery mix ups which, of course, Bayonetta can catch. Yeah. Side Special is her other main tool and has three different variations depending on how and when it's inputted. First up is Heel Slide, and is simply just a side B on the ground with a strong hit at the start followed by a lingering weak hit. The normal input is very niche, as it won't kill nor reliably start combos. Holding special, however, will cause Bayo to do a kick in the air. This is what makes the move so dangerous, as it's one of her best grounded combo starters with follow-ups at virtually all percents. At low percents, up tilt is your best follow-up, comboing into Bayo's bread and butter of side B and witch twist. Alternatively, she can skip the up tilt and go for a witch twist, which will be relevant at high percents, when combined with a jump cancel. Forward air is also possible and can be strong with platform extensions. Once up tilt stops connecting at mid percents, go for an up air or neutral air instead, which then leads back into her bread and butter. While the combo potential is amazing, there are some major downsides. Heel slide is never safe on shield, nor will it ever cross up, so basically anyone who reacts in time to block will easily be able to punish. Afterburner Kick, or ABK for short, is one of Bayo's best burst options as it's fast and leads straight into combos. However, unlike Heel Slide, holding the input will make it laggier and ruin its combo potential. Its other quirk is if Bayo connects an ABK, she'll get an additional side B. Otherwise, she only gets one. For combos, it's amazing as a quick burst option that leads directly into up B, which we've already covered. Though what makes it even better than Heel Slide is its ability to cross up shields and potentially follow up pressure with aerials, significantly increasing Bayo's safety on shield. 
Should ABK hit a wall, Bea will bounce off with a little jump that can be useful in some recovery situations or edge guarding. Downward after Burner Kick is an ABK variant performed with a quarter circle down to the side, then special. Connecting it will send opponents straight up for a Witch Twist or another after Burner Kick. However, there is also a landing hit that will send away. While more niche, it's an effective combo starter and extender in exchange of becoming a more committal burst option. Her other specials, while less important in her combo game, do their jobs well and are worth using. Bullet Climax is mainly used to edgeguard and rack up chip damage. Quickly tapping special will fire a quick stream of weak bullets, while holding and releasing will charge the initial bullet's damage and knockback. This will likely come in handy for edgeguarding linear recoveries or forcing them to burn resources. She can cancel with a shield at full charge, and, as mentioned earlier, can be used in the air to negate her special lag. Her down special is Witch Timed and is the one reason opponents have to respect her disadvantage state. Bayo dodges any incoming attack and slows down time, leaving them wide open for a punish. The only exceptions are projectiles thrown out of range, in which case Bayo will dodge the projectile but not slow her opponent. And to prevent spam, the time slowed will diminish after consecutive Witch Times. However, this can also be regenerated over time by not using the move. Despite its simplicity, Witch Time is one of Bayo's most important tools, as it stops people from mashing out of her combos. This forms an extra level of neutral that opponents must respect, because if they don't, they're probably eating a major punish. Bayonetta's jab is a rapid jab that kills at high percents. However, it is also one of the slowest jabs in the game at frame 9, which does limit its overall use in neutral. More often than not, you're going to save it to call out a shield drop or poke. F-Tilt is a 3-part attack with effective damage and just enough hit stun to combo at low percents. However, it is also one of Bayo's slowest attacks with not enough reward. Generally speaking, it's best to save it as a mix-up assuming you want to use it at all. Up tilt is a great combo starter and anti-air with a scooping hit in front and an overhead hitbox high enough to connect on platforms. Given how often people will jump to avoid burst options, Bayo finds great use for catching landings. Once it connects is when she can combo with an aerial or witch twist. The nice part is how up tilt has low scalable knockback, meaning these combos will work at low, mid, and high percents, even confirming into kills with a jump cancel. At high percent, it starts confirming into a back air for a kill. Down tilt is another combo starter and poke in the neutral, typically into forward air, witch twist, and ABK. It does have a tipper hit that you'll want to avoid since it doesn't confirm into anything meaningful. However, the knockback makes follow-ups very similar to up tilt, with additional platform extensions at a forward air in exchange for less relevance at high percents. Additionally, its bullet art variant offers substantial chip damage to force an approach. Dash Attack is a high committal burst option to call out shield drops and unsafe approaches. It has a strong hit at the start before becoming considerably weaker. While neither variant will combo, it does function as a decent kill option at high percents. And even though Bayo can technically combo into it, there isn't really a reason to do so as her other combos are much better. Her 
Her smash attacks, aside from looking cool, are very basic and will probably only be used for witch time punishes. F smash is as basic a move as you can get, a high committal option that's great for hard raids with a sweet spot on the fist. You can angle it up and down and it can be comboed into at niche percents. Up smash is typically used to call out jumps or out of shield. It's a big commitment, however, and should be reserved for a mix-up when you have a better understanding of your opponent's movement. Down smash is basically worthless as it's slow and doesn't kill until very high percents. Its only saving grace is the ability to spike opponents offstage. There is a small weak hitbox on Bayo's foot, which is kind of funny and could score you some extra damage. Neutral Air is an all-purpose attack for Bayo. It has a strong hit at the start, a lingering late hit, and a useful bullet arts variation to extend the hitbox primarily suited for edgeguarding. In Neutral, she can bait and anti-air her opponents, following up with specials and stuffing approaches. A simple short hop in there into ABK works wonders as a bait. Once she lands that hit is when she can initiate her combos, which will range from simple bread and butters to long strings. This is particularly useful since combos are possible both rising and landing for aerial and grounded opponents respectively. Follow-ups will consist of ABK, Witch Twist, and Falling Up Air. Forward Air is a 3-part attack with solid damage and just enough knockback to kill off the top for some combos. Connecting the first or second hit will stall Bayo in the air, likely designed to allow the following hits to land. This means in order to fast fall the move, you'll have to hit down just after you press A. Against fast fallers and heavies, Bayo can combo fast fall fares together to carry opponents across the stage. However, its main way to start combos is fast falling onto a platform, allowing her to connect an ABK for her bread and butter. Back air is one of Bayo's main kill options either out of a combo or in neutral. It has a sweet spot on her foot and sour spots on her leg. Spacing on shield can make it safe and is an overall great non-committal option. Up air is Bayo's other aerial combo tool in addition to being a solid edge guarding option with the bullet arts form. Similar to neutral air, Bayo can easily find combos with rising and landing the move. In terms of specific follow-ups, ABK and Witch Twist are reliable as they lead into simple bread and butters. Up air bridges are also possible because of the low scalable knockback.
Down air is Bayou's most niche aerial, but still carves out some use in edge guarding and killing. It is a stall and fall with a spiking hitbox on her lower leg and foot, a sour hit on her upper leg that sends up, and a landing hit with high knockback to kill off the side. With how much Bayo is in the air, Danner can be a nice mix-up for landing. However, the move is cursed with a significant amount of landing lag, inherently limiting its viability. Otherwise, it's a risky yet effective option to spike and gimp linear recoveries, especially since Bayo can recover if she misses. To do this, up B immediately after you down air, jump, and up B again. Last up are Bayonetta's throws, which are admittedly pretty bad, but work well enough in her kit and are options you'll end up using a lot due to how often she forces up shields. Forward throw is arguably her most useful throw as it can kill off the side at high percents. Back throw has no kill potential and is basically only used to send offstage where Bayo can edge guard. Up and down throw do not true combo into anything, but can be nice to set up a juggle or put opponents in a spot where Bayo can read and react to their options. Bayonetta is a combo-oriented cannon with a couple mechanics that are very unintuitive. When mastered, however, she becomes one of the most threatening advantage characters in the game. She plays off mix-ups, but flows with style and flair. A woman of tricks that allows the player to express themselves as much as they please. Dance through the sky and put on a show. Because even if you fail, or have any questions, you can always ask your mom. Thank you all for watching my Bayonetta guide. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you'd like to see more. Huge thank you to Virtual Zorua and Lockalist for gathering the clips and helping me compile the information for this guide. Links to their social media, along with the Bayonetta Discord server, are in the description. If there's a character you want me to cover, let me know in a comment below. That's all I have for now, and I will see you all next time. Bayonetta!